I grew up in Waimanalo. I was actually born in Louisiana and my family moved back home to Hawaii. When I was about six months old, we moved there with my grandparents. You know, I actually sing a song called Too Hot Mama, and it's about that. It's about that time when I moved back home as an infant. I was really hot because it was in the summertime. It was so extreme that my grandfather took my umbrella stroller outside in the yard. He tied it to a swing under the avocado tree and then a rope to the stroller. He led it into the house, tied it around his foot, his ankle, and then he like would rock me to sleep while he was watching TV with that rope. Too Hot Mama is actually my favorite song of all the songs that I've written because it's about my grandparents and that loving connection that I had with them as an infant, you know? And when I was writing that song, I thought of, I thought of that connection, you know, when you hold a little baby in your arms and you like look in their eyes and I thought of my grandparents and what they must have thought or felt when they were looking at me as a baby, you know? They're my favorite people in the world, you know? And so that song means a lot to me because of that.
I'm telling you, I'm too hot, mama, I'm just too hot. Too hot, mama, I'm just too hot. Too hot, mama, I'm just too hot. Yeah, too hot, mama, I'm just too hot. Yeah, too hot, mama, I'm just too hot. Just to hide, yeah, to hide, mama. I'm just to hide. I met Mike Love maybe 17 years ago at a jam session up in St. Louis Heights. He would always want to like jam with me, and he said, I'm gonna make music with you one day, you know. And this was during the time where I started recording my album, Lily Koi. And he said, hey man, if you ever want me to play guitar, I'll totally do it for free. As I was gearing up to record an album, Mike Love sat down and wrote a song thinking about me and maybe the experiences I might have had while I was growing up. He thought about my voice. Parachute is actually written for my voice. You know what I mean?
actually got together with Mike and he said, hey, I actually uh, wrote this song a few weeks ago, but I never sang it yet. Do you want to sing it on your album? And I was like, oh my gosh, let me hear it. And I fell in love with it instantly, you know. It's such a beautiful song and the imagery in that song is just so beautiful too, you know.
visualize to actualize is is what I like to say. And I, I truly believe in that. You know, I I actually grew up homeless on the beach at Sand Island. I lived there during one of the most crazy times in my life, surrounded by like negative adults that weren't really trying to take the best care of my sister and I, you know? And and I wrote this song about my two little nieces because it's always the case when parents get into any kind of, you know, trouble in, in their relationship, it's the children that suffer the most because they get stuck in the middle. And, you know, I wanted to encourage my little nieces to hold on just a little bit longer and that things would get better, you know, with time. And it did. And while I was writing that song, I thought of so many different ways that we all could persevere through trying circumstances. Feel a little 
Hawaiian name is Kaleo Okamakani o Naona, which means the voice of that sweet wind, that breeze that comes in out of nowhere and fills your house with a scent. And they say when you when you smell those things like pikake or maile, where there's no maile or pikake around, that it's your ancestors coming to check on you. That song is special to me because of that. It incorporates the meaning of my Hawaiian name in it, you know. And then I end the song, you know I'm just a breeze skipping over the sea. This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. 
Thank you.